It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for The Last of Us on HBO. On this video, we're going to be taking a look at Joel's legacy in season two of The Last of Us, which is finally going to be coming up after the writer's strike ended a few days ago. Now, before we dive deep into this, a quick spoiler alert for those who haven't played part two of The Last of Us video game. We're definitely going to spill some beans about what happened in the second game. So if you're avoiding spoilers, maybe bookmark this video for later after you play part two of the video game. So with that said, stay tuned. We'll be right back to break this down. Alright, as always, before we dive into it, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. With that said, let's dive right into it. So today we're going to be diving deep into the hype around Season 2 of The Last of Us. We're going to be answering a burning question. Can Ellie handle the spotlight in Season 2 after the gut-wrenching loss of, spoiler alert again, Joel Miller? It's a tough one, but it all comes down to two things. How good the story is and how Bella Ramsey rocks Ellie's character. So let's get real about Ellie's journey in part two of The Last of Us. Losing Joel? That hit us right in the feels, right? He wasn't just a character. He was like family. His banter with Ellie and their crazy adventures together. That's what made the game iconic. And a lot of fans would say, it wasn't just that Abby killed Joel that hurt us as the fandom. It was about how it came together and how unprepared we all were for that. And maybe to some, that's a good thing that you just kill a main character like that and have the audience have to deal with the consequences of that emotionally. But on the other hand, you're going to have to expect some level of backlash which part two got obviously it's not game over just because joel's gone right and that's the principle that they followed for part two of the video game and they're obviously gonna do the same thing for season two adaptation on hbo but what really matters is the story it's all about the storytelling a killer narrative can make us fall in love with new and old characters alike, even without our main man, Joel. We've seen that repeatedly on other franchises, so why not here? And speaking of characters, let's not forget about our girl Ellie and the powerhouse behind her, Bella Ramsey. Remember how she had us all choked up in season one? Yeah, she's got the chops to keep us invested in Ellie's journey. Her performance made us feel Ellie's pain anger, and determination. And it's this emotional depth that will play a crucial role in season two's success. Now, obviously, no matter how well Bella Ramsey might have done in season one, it's not enough for season two. And the reason for that is because with Joel's absence, she's gonna need to deliver something extraordinary in order to have fans not really feel the absence of Joel even though Joel is gone. So while it might seem like a tough ask to have Bella Ramsey's Ellie carry the torch after Joel's exit, remember, great storytelling and a stellar performance can make magic happen. To sum it up, season two's success is all about how well they tell the story and how Bella Ramsey continues to bring Ellie to life. But like I said, she's gonna have to work harder to make Ellie's character shine even more in order to stand out with Joel gone. So let's keep our fingers crossed and trust that the writers will give us another epic adventure and something that's way better than season one. I've said this repeatedly, season one was great, but compared to the video game, it was definitely an underwhelming season. And if they want to apply the same thing in season two with Joel getting killed in the process, that is definitely going to have backlash like you've never seen before. And the writers are definitely going to need to be prepared for a lot of criticism after the fact. 
But that's pretty much everything I wanted to go through in this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss our next Last of Us video. And of course, drop your thoughts in the comment section below. What are your expectations for season 2 of The Last of Us on HBO? That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.